The Christ Letters with Enhanced Narration and Text Letter 3.1 The Fundamental Truth of Earthly Existence Narrator's Note A special word on formatting. The recorder explains in the foreword that in order to show that some powerful statement had come from Christ's mind into hers, she used italics, emboldening and capitals. Some may find this unconventional formatting interferes with the flow of reading. And this was actually the intention, because these letters are not meant to be read, but pondered. This means you have to stop on the specially formatted words and think about what the words are trying to convey to you. You have to reach into the infinite dimension in order to try to understand what you are being told. To honour the recorder's intention, all the emboldened words have a reverb effect added to them and the words in capitals and italics will also be highlighted with a bell sound, one bell at the start of the phrase and two bells at the end. These sound effects will help to harmonise the recording with the text. I am also reading slowly to allow time to ponder the meaning behind the words. Since these letters take you into a spiritual mental dimension transcending the human plane of activities and concerns, they will be best absorbed if preceded by a time of stillness and relaxation. Quieten your minds if possible, going into a state of inner silence of thought. It is only when you are in this completely receptive state that these letters will penetrate your human thought with their reality. My boundless celestial love impels me to return again and again to write to mankind with the intention that finally as many of you who are ready to receive it, will possess the knowledge which will enable you to transcend your humanhood and merge into Father Consciousness, the true Love Consciousness, in which are realized all things bountiful and beautiful. As I have said previously and want to repeat, my entire mission on earth was prompted by love and was directed only at teaching the truth of existence. For without this knowledge, there is no hope of redemption from the travail which mankind is born to endure. I know this statement will bring much grief to sincere and dedicated followers of the Christian religion and those who have centred their entire faith on the person of Jesus. But I tell you truly, to succeed in ridding yourselves of the humanhood which holds you back from the full realisation of universal truth and the understanding of the true nature of the spiritual human condition I termed the Kingdom of God. You must turn away from the old dogmas of salvation by the blood of the Lamb, the Trinity and other beliefs and come with perfectly open receptive minds to the truth of existence. No other salvation is possible. God cannot save you, since, in ignorance of the facts of existence, 
Mankind will continue to make the same earthbound mistakes till the end of time, thus creating his own sickness and misery. Furthermore, no matter what a man's belief may be in regard to salvation from sins, this is a human fallacy, since the law of cause and effect is imponderable and an intrinsic, inherent, natural characteristic of existence. You cannot divorce effects from causation, nor can you erase causation and still have effects. In every level of being, this is truth. You may now be sufficiently advanced in your thinking to be able to receive the following fundamental truth concerning your earthly existence. The law of cause and effect, reaping and sowing, is the visible effect of what you call electromagnetism and no one who has any knowledge of science would expect God to set aside the laws of electromagnetism, which are those of activity, bonding, rejection. Activity, bonding, rejection, or movement, attraction, repulsion, are the fundamental impulses of existence and of human consciousness itself, which have brought about your visible forms in life and are the only instruments or tools of creation. They are responsible for the formation of substance or matter and also for the development of individualized forms and finally of personality itself in all living entities. Since these laws are fundamental to your individualized existence, it is impossible to set them aside. Therefore, you cannot ignore the problems inherent in your individualized existence and believe that God will save you from them. Your only hope of final escape, of stepping off the treadmill of human experience, is to recognize and acknowledge them and then work minute by minute to transcend them and eventually merge in purity of mind, heart and action, and become one with universal love consciousness, the Father which does the love work. At the same time, as you grow in awareness of the true nature of the Father within you and transcending you, and all around you, you will come to have undeviating faith that, in every circumstance, you can draw upon the inspiration, power and upliftment directly from the Father within and around you. You will come to know it is really the Father which supports and guides you into the kingdom of Father Love Consciousness. It will become abundantly clear to you that whilst the Father is universal, it is also individual for you. It knows you, is aware of your thinking and your problems. Within the Father Love Consciousness, are the perfect solutions awaiting your recognition. When you recognize them, you will be released from pain when you become pliable and willing to listen.
Until you are willing to listen, you will never be filled with the Father Love Consciousness.